Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we keep it vibing. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are going to have live in no time the one and only Jatong who hails out of Australia. <laughs> when you're talking about a versatile artist who opens hip hop, punk, dance hall, we are talking about Jatong. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ready. Vibing to Jatung songs. We have Lloyd out of De La Vega City that say yes. He's loving Jatung spirit. But guess what? We have Jatung in studio right now, okay? Jatung, how are you? Blessed love, I'm doing well. Give thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I can't complain. You know? I've been sick for a few weeks. Um, you know, and, and of course, it is, uh, I've lost my brother, <laughs> my favorite, and um, this show is dedicated to him. So you know, we keep moving. Um, you know, my so, condolences. Yeah. yeah, it's been a challenging time, you know, but we have to we have to focus on what is in our control and and you know move forward and rise above this. That's right. That's right. There's only so much we can control. Yes. So as we get into the interview, part of um, my introduction was um, telling persons about um, your versatility and, um, you know, various genres that you dabble into. But I, I, am I assuming that um, besides um, the hip hop and the punk, um, is reggae dance all your favorite genre? Yeah, I mean, by the time, like, as a youth, I was quite eclectic. I was, I was like, I was actually a big Michael Jackson fan as a youth. I was a dancer and things. And um, as a teenager, learning instruments and, and finding my voice, I started to get into reggae when I was about 15. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and, and not just reggae music, but also the rock, safari, and spirituality. And then by the time I was about 18 or 19, um, reggae was pretty much the main, you know, my main inspiration, and it and it just started to come out in my songwriting. Like, it wasn't like I made a conscious decision, or I'm, now I'm gonna do reggae. Um, like I was doing at the time, I was doing acoustic singer songwriter, like Jack Johnson kind of vibes. Um, but then every now and again, you know, a lyric would come through that was patois, and it just like it was just a natural transition, you know. And then before I knew it, I was just writing in Patwa and it was like a natural thing, you know, so, yeah. Well, you know, as I've always said to persons is that, you know what, um, reggae is the music, not because it is that I'm from Jamaica, but it is the root, <laughs> it is the root of all yeah, other real. music and, it, and that's reality. For real, and, and I think like, because I was doing singer-songwriter stuff, which was always, it was already very, 
lyrically focused and politically driven and things. But then finding reggae was kind of like meeting in the middle between, um, you know, like matching that, that lyrical focus with the bass line and the groove of the Michael Jackson and the R&B and stuff that I used to be um, into as a youth, you know, so uh, um, yeah, it just, just kind of made sense, you know, it had the feeling and it had the message and it resonated, you know, and at the time it kind of answered my spiritual yearning as well. You know? so, Now, you, you are of mixed heritage, you're Anglo-Indian. Yeah, so both my parents, both my parents are from India, but very mixed heritage, like, um, you know, European, sort of German, Polish, Irish, Italian, Portuguese, Indian, um, so yeah, very mixed. But my family was around four generations or so in India, so the culture... You know, I, I knew as a youth growing up in, in Australia, in Western Sydney, which is a very, very multicultural area, but mostly Arab, like Muslim area. Um, and so I knew straight away as a youth, you know, seeing seeing the few other white Australian families, I knew my family was not like that, you know, so um, it kind of searched me to look deeper than the physical identity, you know what I mean, and find something find something to hold on to that was, yeah, more meaningful and, and deeper, you know? Yes, yes. So, um... And then as I, and as, as I grew older and, and checked further into the roots of Rastafari and see the connections to India and the connections between Jamaica and India and, you know, the sadhus growing their locks, which they call jatta, and, and you know, eating vegetarian and the use of sacred herbs and things, it was like... A lot of things started to, to add up and make a lot of sense to I, you know, so... Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I hear you, I hear you. So so the song Slumber, um, is that a recent release or has it been around for a while? So that was actually written quite some time ago with... Um, it was a collab with a producer in the VI in the US Virgin Islands. Um, And then he had some he had some kind of technical issues with uh, the music ownership because it was a, a joint ownership with uh, you know his business partner. So then we couldn't actually use it. And then I had moved to a new city and formed a, a new band and things like that. And so we just thought as a as our first release with the band, we should rework that tune and and put it out. So. That came out last year during COVID, and we did a nice little animation video with it, um, which was kind of, you know, divine timing anyway, because the message and the video really matched the situation of COVID and everything that was happening, you know, so yeah, everything in just time. <laughs> love it, love it. I would love to check out, I'm definitely going to check out that animation video. Well, we are going to jump to one of your other songs, um, Queen Alpha, and we'll be right back to talk to you about okay. some more of your works. It's a family Regal and radiant aura mm. And even in Eden Your smile the most perfect of flora Queenly character Robe of honor And a crown of wisdom Patience I am seeking Until your heart's healing is done Will I, will I wait in vain This will be a worthy test Still early in that journey yet Already I'm sure the breath, yeah And you embody the majesty Of the universe, moon and stars The deep blackness created first Your light will surely last See, I don't question energies I doubt my intuition No, no Recalling ancient memories Soul connection, recognition And these are not just pretty analogies or metaphors in a mirror, but a sincere. Yes, 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, well, I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, let's take audiences asking me to pull up the song, and this is one of my favorite songs. We are talking about the one and only Queen Alpha. We'll be right back with your tongue. It's like a sea. It's like a wave just now. Persons who are hitting me up talking about the song and Jatung and what he brings to today's lineup. Jatung, let me ask you this question. Um, you know, when we talk about reggae and we talk about individuals from other parts of the world that are doing reggae, who influenced this great music? Because <laughs> Queen Alpha, this song right here, this is one of my favorite songs. Who, in, who inspired, who's the inspiration so and the influence behind this great music? Thank you so much. Um, I mean, there's so many, there's so many, but it's funny, it's really funny that, uh, um, you know, Richie Spice happens to be on this segment as well because he is definitely a big, big influence in my sound. Like, when I was first getting into... I mean, when I first got into reggae, I really went right back to the old roots, like the Skia, Toots and the Maytals was one of my favorites for a long time. And, um, you know, I've, I've really followed the evolution of reggae music and how it became what it is today. Um, and as far as the modern sounds, like R Richie Spice was definitely a big influence because, you know, learning how, you know, the reggae singers have their little tagline that they use and things like Richie was... <laughs> Um, you know, people like Richie Luciano, um, of course, Damian Marley. Now the modern, the modern, the reggae revival movements. I mean, I'm heavily influenced by Protege and Chronics and, um, you know, people like that. And then in the last kind of five or six years, I've started to appreciate dancehall more and starting to get more into some dancehall and Afrobeat vibes and, um, yeah, you know, there's no limit to music. Like I said, I still love Michael Jackson and a lot of the R&B and hip hop and soul. And yeah, there's so many influences, you know, it's, um, it's a cross fertilization. Um, <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah. Love it, love it. So, um, you know, you are being so humble, but of course it is that there are so much accolades as it come to, as it pertains to Jatog itself. Um, you know, for instance, you've been um, nominated for so many awards um, between the Music Victoria Award, um, you know, 2019, yeah. 2020, 2021. That speaks volume as well, you know, and also you have... Yeah, well, that, I mean, so what happened was, like, I'm from Sydney, um, which is more of, more of a business-oriented city and, um, you know, an industry kind of city. And, and at the end of 2018, I moved to Melbourne, which is probably the, the creative capital of Australia. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just more musical opportunity down here and things. And it was like all the work that I had been doing in, in Sydney for, for so many years 
that I wasn't really reaping the the benefits, like you know, I wasn't seeing the fruits of those labors. And then I moved to Melbourne, and it was like all of a sudden people knew who I was already, and I started getting these awards, and the band came together really organically and naturally, and you know, so it was like, ah,、oh, this is where I'm meant to be, and I finally started. Feeling like、um, you know, momentum was building, and then COVID came and kind of pulled everything out from underneath me. So that's why I'm about to I'm about to move back to Sydney and just、um, you know realign and refocus and figure things out and be close to family for a while and see how this situation evolves. Because in Australia, as particularly in Melbourne, we actually had the longest lockdown in the world. Yeah. So it's been it's been a challenge, you know, but um. I just tried to use the time and and work on a self-produced album,、um, which is has been very exciting and and yeah, and plenty of plenty of collaboration works coming as well. So yeah. Now you um you in the past you have done other collaborations.、Um, you have collaborated with other artists as well, or this is new for you? Yes, it was. Yeah, I love, I love, I love collaborations. You know, that that, that tends to get my inspiration flowing a lot quicker.、Um, but yeah,、I've, like some of the some of the greats I've worked with is like Gappy Ranks, As a Lineage,、um, Deadly Hunter,、mm-hmm. YT out of the UK.、Um, you know, and and my album at the moment, the self-produced album, has some very big features as well. I have Bugle, I have Kabaka Pyramid, I have Pressure Bus Hype, I have Micah Shamaya. Um, so it's really exciting, you know. Actually, right now, just today, they were shooting a、um, a video with Kabaka in Jamaica for that. So、um, yeah, it's very exciting times. You and, know, and watch out for Digital Degeneration, my self-produced album coming. And that's and that's for a collaboration. That's for a collaboration with、um, Kabaka Pyramid. Yes, sir. Yes.、Yeah, so, so I will let you know that he's one of my favorite artists. I haven't been able to interview him as yet, but、um, I do、um, appreciate his work <laughs> extensively. He's one yes, of my favorites. Yes, one one he's of a, my he's a, fr- he's a brilliant artist, and he's a very humble, very humble brethren, and he's been very supportive with、yeah. me. And you know, I'm very thankful for. I mean, all of the artists on the album have been really easy to work with, and. Um, you know, very supportive and understanding of you know an independent artist trying to trying to make a rise. So, and then I give thanks for that for real. That's it. That's it. I'm going to jump to one of your other tracks, and we're going to come back and wrap up this interview. Okay? Yes, easy. Give thanks. <laughs> Jad Tong,、um, 
Jatong, yes, as, as, as I'm listening to the production, the production is very rich. Yes, um, <laughs> for real. I, I, I want to I wanna big up my brethren, Jawais, mm-hmm. um, who is also, who's also nominated for this, this round of the Music Victoria Awards. Um, but yeah, this, this track was a real blessing. I feel like... Um, to date, to date, that was one of the one of the most professional productions and sounds that I had had the privilege of working with. You know, just everything from the musicians, the the harmonies, um, the mix, and you know, it's just a beautiful sound. The video came out really nice as well. Um, so yeah, big up Jawai's Productions and big up the Natural Order team. Um, you know, it's been a real pleasure working with these brethren since I've been down in Melbourne. Oh, is Natural Order is a band? Because I was going to ask. You do have your own band that works with you? Yeah, so the Natural Order band we formed when I moved down to Melbourne from Sydney. I mean, we kept it separate, so it's not, it's technically not my band mm-hmm. because what we wanted to do was we wanted to create a backing band that um, could back other artists, you know, if they come from overseas and things because we do see a bit of a lack of like proper traditional reggae bands. Um, I mean, for example, uh, when Anthony B came here last year, mm-hmm. um, you know, there was a there was a hip hop band that was backing him, which uh, you know, great musicians, great band, um, you know, and good peoples. But unfortunately, they didn't know some of the, the directions that he was giving, like to to give a pull up and things like that. So. Um, yeah, we wanted to we wanted to do something that could help support these other artists when they come over here because a lot of the time it's not viable for them to bring their full band and their sound engineer and all of that thing. You know what I mean? So we wanted to try and do justice to that culture. Um, and yeah, they're great brethren, great musicians, and we also did a collab uh, EP album kind of thing with them, which will be coming in the next in the coming year as well. So yeah. Blessings, blessings. Well, let me tell you. So, um, you have the new album coming up. Um, did you already place um, all the tracks? So all the tracks are completed for the album and ready to go. Um, pretty much. I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on a couple of tracks to be finalized. Um, but yeah, they're, they're almost done. I just got to finish some final touches and then send it for mixing and mastering. And I didn't. I don't want to put out any teasers or um, you know any single releases yet until everything is done, like the, all the videos and everything. I want to do everything, um, you know, as a final product and then start promoting it and things. So yeah, well, just keep your eyes open for Digital Degeneration, a big album coming soon. Well, one of the reasons I ask, you know, is like um, I'm behind the microphone all the time. But uh, what I do on my show is I, I, I tend to look for features. So if you have a feature mm-hmm. you want to feature me, please link me up so that I, <laughs> so, sure. so I can get acclimated, okay? I can get acclimated. So you, sing, so you sing too? I can sing, but I, 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 I'm an introvert, so I like to stay behind the, you know, behind the scenes and, and, do all, and make the magic work itself <laughs> from my words. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Yes. Well, I tell you, it's been a pleasure having you here. I am looking forward to the album. Exactly. And when the album is out, I would like to bring you on again so that we could feature it in the one-on-one music review show for everyone who is listening, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you have any shout-outs before you go? Yeah. And if you can, share with the listening audience your social media links. Yeah, so pretty much Ja Tung, J-A-H-T-U-N-G. Uh, on any platform, uh, you'll find me there or jatang.com. And yeah, I just want, want to send love to all the supporters worldwide. And, um, you know, at the moment, like I said, the last couple of years has been a real challenge. So your support is everything. Um, and yeah, big up to, to all the collaborators on the album and the video crew in Jamaica doing their thing. Um, the Natural Order, Jawais, just, yeah, man, one heart of love to everybody. Blessed love. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Jetong. We are going to leave you with a um, Queen 
Alpha, because that's my favorite, and the audience is <laughs> asking me to play it again. So we're going to ride out with Queen Alpha, and we'll be right back with our next guest, Aya Meds, in the house, okay? Give thanks for having me. Yeah. Blessed love. Jatag, it's always a pleasure. Don't be a stranger, okay? Never, never. That's it. Girl, I'm entranced by your regal and radiant aura. Even in Eden, you smile the most perfect of flora. Queenly character, robe of honor, and a crown of wisdom. Patience I am seeking until your heart's healing is done. Will I, will I wait in vain? This will be a worthy test. Still early in that journey yet. Already I'm sure that. Of the universe, moon and stars The deep blackness created first Your light will surely last See, I don't question energies I doubt my intuition No, no Recalling ancient memories Soul connection, recognition And these are not just pretty analogies Or metaphors in a rhyme. But a sincere covenant to wait until a better time For you to give your heart to mine <laughs> Queen Alpha I know this is not the best time But you should I know That I've been searching for you my whole life Queen Alpha I can wait as long as you like Time, our faith will reveal romantically yeah. So show me my destiny Cause woman you alone I got the loving that's best for me That's why I'm saying respectfully Empress, I know we were meant to be Now the worry cause you know semi lawyer Total devotion to a woman so royal Thanks be the job, implant your seed in my soil Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we just had Jatang, who hails from Australia, 